Did you know that the average human brain generates about 70,000 thoughts per day? That's nearly 50 thoughts per minute. Imagine a bustling city with each citizen representing a thought. This city is our brain, a marvel of nature, ceaselessly humming with activity. Every second, every minute, it churns out thoughts at a mind-blowing pace. It's a staggering testament to the complexity and the power of the human brain, a three-pound organ that consistently outperforms the world's most powerful supercomputers. Our thoughts, a ceaseless stream of consciousness, shape our realities, dictate our actions, and ultimately define who we are as individuals. They are the unseen architects of our lives. Yet we rarely pause to consider where these thoughts originate. How does this bustling city of the mind operate? Just where do these 70,000 thoughts per day come from? Now, let's dive into where these thousands of thoughts actually originate. To understand the origin of thoughts, we need to take a journey back to the dawn of mankind. Let's rewind the clock back to the early days when our ancestors were just beginning to walk upright. Back then, their lives were governed by basic survival instincts. Their thoughts, if we can call them that, were rudimentary at best, focused on immediate needs, finding food, avoiding predators, seeking shelter. But even in that primitive state, something was happening. The human brain was on a path of extraordinary evolution. The brain's size began to increase, and with it, the complexity of its functions. The front part of the brain, known as the frontal lobe, started to develop. This part of the brain is associated with higher cognitive functions like problem solving, decision making and yes, thought processes. Now, imagine being one of those early humans. Your thought processes are governed by survival. You think about where to find your next meal, how to avoid that saber-toothed tiger, where to find a safe place to sleep. Each thought is a response to a specific need or threat. But as the brain evolved, so did the nature of thoughts. They became less about immediate survival and more about understanding the world around us. Thoughts started to involve planning for the future, learning from past experiences and understanding complex concepts. This cognitive leap didn't happen overnight. It was a slow process that took hundreds of thousands of years. And then something remarkable happened. Our ancestors started to think about their own thoughts. They developed self-awareness, the ability to reflect on their own existence. This introspective thinking known as metacognition marked a significant milestone in human evolution. As humans evolved, so did our capacity for complex thoughts. From basic survival instincts to introspective thinking, the journey of human thought is a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of our species. The human mind, with its ability to think, to ponder, to dream, is indeed one of nature's most astonishing creations. Thoughts are not just about survival. They are the birthplace of human consciousness. As life evolved on our blue planet, so too did the complexity of thought. With the birth of early human societies, our ancestors began to think in ways that transcended the simple needs of survival. They began to ponder, to wonder, to question. This complexity of thought was accelerated by the development of language. Imagine trying to think without words. It's nearly impossible. Language gave our ancestors the ability to share their thoughts, their ideas, their dreams. It allowed for the creation of culture, of shared experiences and shared understandings. But language did more than just allow for the sharing of thoughts. It fundamentally changed the way we think. Our thoughts became more abstract, more symbolic. We began to think about things that were not immediately present, about things that we could not see or touch. We began to contemplate the past and the future, to imagine other worlds and other possibilities. And from this complexity of thought, something truly remarkable emerged. Consciousness. Consciousness is not simply awareness of the world around us. It is the awareness of our own thoughts, of our own existence. It's the voice in our head that narrates our life, that ponders our place in the universe, that dreams of what could be. Consciousness allows us to reflect on our thoughts, to question them, to shape them. It gives us the ability to imagine, to create, to innovate. It is the spark that ignites the flame of human creativity, the wellspring of all human achievement. So where did this consciousness come from? How did it emerge from the complexity of human thought? 
These are questions that scientists and philosophers have been wrestling with for centuries and we are still searching for the answers. But one thing is clear. Our thoughts are not just simple reactions to the world around us, they are deeply intertwined with our consciousness, shaping our perception of reality, influencing our actions and guiding our journey through life. Our thoughts are not just reactions to the world around us, they shape our perception of reality. Fast forward to today, our thoughts have become incredibly complex and diverse. Each thought we have serves as a testament to the intricate interplay of our individual experiences and the world around us. Our thoughts are no longer just about survival, but encompass a vast array of topics from the mundane to the abstract, from what we'll eat for breakfast to the nature of the universe itself. This complexity is largely due to the influence of modern life. Consider education, for instance. Through learning, we acquire knowledge and skills that shape our thoughts in profound ways. Every subject we study, every book we read, every idea we encounter in the classroom, they all leave an imprint on our minds, expanding our understanding of the world and giving birth to new thoughts. Then there's technology. In today's digital age, we're constantly bombarded with information from all corners of the globe. This constant stream of data shapes our thoughts, making them more diverse, global and interconnected than ever before. We're not just thinking about our immediate environment anymore, but about the whole world and even the cosmos. And let's not forget about culture. Our thoughts are heavily influenced by the cultural milieu we live in. Our values, beliefs, traditions and societal norms all play a significant role in shaping our thoughts. They determine what we consider to be right or wrong, important or trivial, beautiful or ugly. In essence, our thoughts are not merely our own. They are a product of an ongoing dialogue between us and the world around us. They are shaped by our interactions with other people, our exposure to different ideas and perspectives, and our experiences in a rapidly changing world. To put it simply, our thoughts today are not just about me or you, they are about us, about our shared experiences as a species, about our collective journey through time and space. So next time you have a thought, take a moment to appreciate its complexity. Remember that every thought you have is a reflection of your unique experience in this world, but also a part of the grand tapestry of human knowledge and understanding. Our thoughts today are a product of both our personal experiences and the collective knowledge of our species. If our thoughts have evolved so much over the course of human history, what does the future hold for us? Let's take a moment to ponder this. As we stand on the brink of an era dominated by artificial intelligence, our thought processes are bound to be influenced. We've already seen how technology can augment our cognitive abilities. Think of how smartphones have practically turned into an extension of our brains, storing and retrieving information at our command. But let's push the envelope a bit further. Imagine a future where AI doesn't just assist us, but intertwines with our thoughts. What if AI could simulate human thought processes? If it could learn, reason, understand, and even create just like us? This may sound like science fiction, but remember, we're talking about the future. Moreover, technology could potentially enable us to tap into the unexplored realms of our minds, the parts that control dreams, creativity, intuition, and emotions could become accessible and understandable. The future of thoughts could also be shaped by our growing understanding of the brain. Neuroscience is making strides in unravelling the mysteries of our grey matter. As we gain more insights, we might be able to enhance our cognitive abilities and even manipulate our thoughts. In essence, the future could see our thoughts evolve from being a mere product of biological processes to an amalgamation of biology and technology. It's a thrilling yet daunting prospect. Only time will tell how our thoughts will evolve in the future. So, where do our thoughts come from? They are a product of our evolution, our experiences and our collective knowledge. From the dawn of consciousness to the modern mind, we've journeyed through the fascinating world of thoughts. They are a testament to our growth, our ability to adapt, to learn and to shape our reality. It's a compelling invitation to reflect on your own thoughts, their origins and influence. Remember, your thoughts are powerful. They shape your reality. So keep thinking, keep questioning, and never stop learning. Don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing facts and ideas. See you in the next video.